All right, we are back, Timothy and I. Uh, this time we're gonna do a product walkthrough for La Mer. We got a shipment not long ago. Um, quick tidbit, I can remember probably five years ago sitting over at the store and me being like, Brando, bro, it'd be really cool if we could have La Mer one day. You know what I mean? Like, let's get La Mer. And you're like, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's the time. I, I would love to have La Mer though. I've been collecting them. Here's our here's our second collection with it. So we're really stoked. But yeah, you've got you've Whether got. Whether it was the Uniqlo collabs, the real pieces, trying to pick off vintage like hey. or used or whatever. Yeah. Like, but, but yeah, I'm a huge fan. I think that La Mer is a thing that people find a little bit intimidating in some ways, if that makes mm -hmm. sense. Mostly I, because yeah. it is. There's the expense. Now, here's the thing. Yeah. La Mer is a brand that the expense comes because the materials are extremely high quality and, ex and you know, very carefully chosen and everything. Yeah, yeah. But also because, I don't know, it's like a more of a fashion label or something. But I think that that's what people are responding to. They probably. feel it's fashion-y. I think the, re the, the real answer to this, though, is this is probably the, the most wearable fashion brand that we carry mm -hmm. because there's really nothing that's, like, difficult to pull off. The silhouettes can be somewhat dramatic, but I think compared to most, it's pretty reserved. The pieces are in very familiar fabrics I think in most cases and yeah. it's why we thought it felt it made sense in the store in that like a lot of these styles and uh, you know like the, the way they're they're putting things together is pretty in line with how we're putting things together yep. already so it's it's just workwear basically in luxurious materials like if you were to break it down to exactly what it is that's, that's what it pretty is pretty succinct yeah. Um, yeah it's also a brand that people get kind of culty about I sort of get it because I've you, gone down you, this road yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like once you go it's just like these are very they're pieces that are look like, they're investment pieces but when you put them in they're ones i actually go to they aren't like you know i you know i love marnie and everything but it's more statements it you doesn't become an albatross in your it's closet a, it's you can little, like wear it yeah well a brand like that is like you know you're buying it because of the statement that it makes and that's awesome yeah, i love yeah, that stuff yeah, yeah. but it can be harder to wear those pieces every single day just because you know it's it's a little harder to wear them every single day because it's a you know a loud it's a striped stripe, orange you know? purple yellow mohair yeah. sweater down your knees so it's, there's it's people hard that thing do it and god bless them cool. but it's a little yeah, more yeah. difficult you buy them as a sure, statement sure. this is like buying the opposite you're buying a non-statement that's Mm -hmm. You know, it's a little bit more if you know, you know, and it's just a really luxurious, nice, wearable pieces. Yep. So it's why we support the brand. We love the brand. I, I, I really think that you can buy it all as one unit and like you can just keep doing it. They, they have a big sentiment that they share where they don't ever want any piece in any collection to not be able to go with the previous collection. Oh yeah. So Dope. really when you're buying a piece of La Mer, there really shouldn't be, no matter when you bought it, no matter how old your pieces are, they should all kind of work together. Yeah. And I've really kind of always... I've never seen anything that wouldn't be categorized as that. No. So no. let's start getting into some pieces. Well, how do you want to start? Let's here? do let's do kind of this way. Okay. And then we can do shoes, and then we can talk about the couple accessories. Okay, great. Right. Let's get right into it. Here. So starting with this like boxier uh, t-shirt. Um, these are great. Uh, people probably are relatively familiar with this because yeah. of the Uniqlo one. Yeah. Because it, they, you know, they the, Christoph does like a does a piece very similar to this with them. Um, this is it's just much nicer. I mean, you can, I mean, you're not gonna be able to see this on the camera, but the way that they finish all the seams. Yeah, it's really clean. I was looking at the color. It's, really it's really beautiful. Clean. This, I, I have one of these. Uh, these are excellent. They Falls I've off the shoulder? For, yeah, I've had this for years too. I really like this, especially under La Mer pieces, just because it, the volume and the proportion matches everything okay. inside of it. Yeah. So it is kind of worth having if you're gonna be like a La Mer customer. Yeah. Also, these are really awesome in the summer because you kind of throw this on and it's a, it's an own statement without really like doing anything. Because yeah. you can do this with you know, Just a regular jeans, tea. Yeah. yeah. you know, whatever you want to. So this is kind of a, a staple. We don't need to spend a ton of time on it, but as far as like high quality t-shirt, this is it. And the and the proportions are really great kind of yep. inside of everything that they do. Yep, yep. Not too long, but big and off the shoulder. Yeah, quite boxy. Again, honestly, we'll fit yeah. kind of like, like a biz hoodie would fit. Next is going to be this light jumper. Jumper. These, these are these are really beautiful. It's it's a little bit sheer. It's very lightweight, perfect for spring. You can do this kind of whenever. This is the kind of stuff we've talked about before that looks really nice underneath like blazers and yeah. stuff. Kind um, of the seam kind of flipped inside out here, yeah. you know, so it yeah. adds a little bit of interest, kind of got a flat seam here. You can see it on the back too. It's got on both sides. So it has this like little bit of things that make it La Mer without it mm -hmm. being like jumping out at you in any single way. And you way. say this is probably more of like a, like a true mid-layer piece? 100%. You'll yeah. want to wear, I mean, depending on your vibe you know hey, I, if you're fit everything. you're fit and you got God a nice trim sweater yeah. do, do it up you know but what I mean nice with a t-shirt or something underneath it just yeah. just because it is a little bit sheer um it like again I just like throwing something on like this to add some color and texture mm -hmm. to something I'm wearing mm -hmm. so like you get a li lightweight blazer or something like that yeah and again it just looks so beautiful underneath it low volume will, will fit under probably anything super area I think you can like wear this in pretty high tea. heat and be fine to yeah. be honest with you yeah yeah so that's those are great kind of in that same category 
is a seamless turtleneck. Really great. I mean, it's super, clearly it's it's a slim fit. You know, super thin, meant to meant to fit to the body. But keep in mind, this is a mid layer. This is not really meant. I mean, I guess you could wear it on its own for sure. But it's really meant to be put underneath a jacket, yeah. uh, especially a blazer or something like that. This is like my go-to at a wedding. If you want to look stylish yeah, with that yeah, with, yeah. and be very comfortable, you do like a mock neck yeah. like this, especially something like luxurious underneath, like a just a simple like black brown suit or whatever. Yeah, and some like interesting shoes, like you know something like a you know pipe loafer or something mm -hmm. easy easy it just looks so clean and it looks really stylish and it, you're going to be more comfortable than anyone in a shirt and a tie and you'll look better than it so yeah like, i agree i agree it's, it's cool it's a flex so to like clean. not not do the tie just people get weird about it like it's a hard thing to do but it's really nope. uh, it's it's not it's nope. it's, 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 it's like wearing it. a t-shirt yeah so looks great well, especially when it peeks out of the uh like the blazer piece it's really nice here, I'll hold here, one you if you want to hold one. one. This is a classic for them, Western shirt. Just a, you know. Here, I, uh, while well, you got the front. Yeah. Beautiful it, little uh, all the pearl snap here on the back, kind of snapping the back collar yep. down. You can see that 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 kind of Western yoking even on the collar is really cool. Yeah. Um, it's just like a, it's just a simple piece. You wear it on the outside like any Western shirt. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's just like a slightly more luxurious take. Like you could go out to a nice dinner in this as opposed to like a, you know, something beat up, which is also cool. It's its own mm -hmm, vibe. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But like this is just, you know, it's La Mer. It's just a little bit more drapey and more luxurious than you know the classic like regular interpretation of this as work of a western yeah yeah, yeah, yeah so it's yeah. in a nice kind of like poplin material really smooth hand gonna look clean would look cool underneath the stuff too as well you know it's got the bigger pockets so that's a little bit more difficult to do underneath things mm -hmm. but still could totally i mean it yeah. just easily goes underneath Super sick. i mean the yeah. collar is triple stitch like all the little details as you kind of dig into it is, is really again nice. i'm sure graham can get some like close-ups here but the pearl snaps are like really true mother of pearl like in each one's different they're really like there's a unique yeah. depth to them. This is one of those pieces, again, we've talked about this before. The coolest pieces that exist are the ones that you don't look at right away and then you look at yeah, and you're like, oh shit, like that's yeah. really cool. I mean, even just the exaggerated uh, collar is really nice, kind of almost in that 60s vein. And it's also triple needle stitched. You don't even need to do that. It's just, yeah. it's just cool. <laughs> and it's like a great way to finish it and make it last long. Yeah, yeah. I really love these pieces. I feel like there's always one in the collection. It's the welt pocket shirt. It is kind of like a, it's like a seersucker. Yeah, I was gonna say um, like a seersucker, like a, do a dobby ish. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Feel. So it's it's lightweight, but it's still there's still kind of a lot there, if that makes sense. I really like something like this as not something I'm gonna wear underneath anything. I mean, maybe you could do a big cardigan or something like that over it, but honestly, just like this is like a shirt jacket is yeah. really perfect. Yeah. You could tell it's very roomy. Yeah, Very it's, 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 yeah. It's, it, there's plenty of room, there's volume, it's gonna hang really beautifully, all that texture is there, it's gonna look good with kind of anything. Again, it's just like, you don't have to make dressing up into this like formal thing. It mm -hmm. can, you do this with like a drapey La Mer pant, and a t-shirt underneath and like a really beautiful shoe. And yeah, I fuck think yeah. you could pretty much go yeah. anywhere. Mm -hmm. and look, I agree. And look yeah. better than Nice else. restaurant, movie theaters that serve chicken tenders. Only the fanciest places. Yeah. All right, let's move along here. They all serve chicken tenders if you bring them in, by the yeah. way. <laughs> um, all right, so here's the DB work ja the workwear yeah. blazer. I think that's what, is that what it's called? Workwear jacket. So this is basically almost like a double breasted blazer. Yep. And that's what the DB is, but it's just a single. It's, it's real really first. casual. This piece is really like, you can button it up and that's great. You can totally do that. But here's the thing. This looks really great just open and over the top of things because it's really drapey and yeah. pretty. So you can kind of see even there, just like the way it moves is really nice. It looks great over like that big t-shirt is like the perfect example yeah, dope, here. Dope. A roomy, a roomy so, flowy pant. Yeah, it just looks so clean. And uh, it, it's thin, it's light. You can wear this all through the summer. But honestly, like I would probably wear this even, even into the fall a bit. And it's no problem, especially yeah. you put like a put thin sweater underneath. or something yeah, yeah, underneath yeah. and you're you're good Something to go. Morning. So this is like an, I don't know, I have one of these and it's probably one of my, it's the, I'm, I've, I've, I went through a major blazer phase. This yeah. was my most worn one, especially, I really like this with like that big t-shirt and a pair of beat up jeans. It's just really, it's really cool. You can get that old like David Letterman off hours look that I think is great. Yeah. So this is kind of the same, same thing, thing, but in a heavy twill, almost think denim nicer but yeah like in like that a thick, vein thick twill really great like all of the it's all on the diagonal like the, so the, the the texture is really beautiful it's just a, again this is just the same thing but heavier so if you feel like you kind of want something to like i don't know, be more like a denim jacket I yeah this yeah. is kind of the move yeah it's even got like slight contrast stitching similar to a denim jacket it's like a brown now listen i'm dope. the king of doing this where i buy two things that are extensively the same but only slightly different yeah but i think that if you're this guy and you think this is a look for you having the heavyweight one and the lightweight yeah, flowy cool. one Oops. is 
pretty worthwhile, to be honest yeah, with you. Agreed, agreed. So especially here in something easy and black like this, all the contrast stitching is in kind of this nice like mushroomy brown color that goes with the rest of the collection. Again, he's always being mindful that yep, it all wants yep, to play together. Yep, yep. So that's a really cool piece. Out of the same material, but something a little bit more here. Can you hold this one? Because mm -hmm. we want to show the mm -hmm. back too. So it, it's the it's this workwear jacket. It's just simple, kind of a chore coat in the same material I just showed you. So that great like texture and that diagonal weave. Yep. It's really pretty. It's gonna drape well as even though it's kind of heavy. Got a cool when you turn it around, you get the cool kind of like game pocket, map pocket, whatever. Yeah. They're kind of using they're blending a couple different ideas there. But it's it's really cool. And you can kind of see this this um, pocket here wraps around a bit. So you get this big pocket here, you get the button pocket there, and when you turn it around, there's also an inset pocket on the inside. And none of this looks like this isn't engineered garments, you know, no. which we love. Yeah, but yeah. that's like very like outward pockets. You see all that this is like kind of adding all that utility in, but like really doing it seamlessly. So it's just it, it blends nicely, it looks clean. Clean. You can dress it up, dress it down. Super easy. Yeah. That's a great. That, I yeah, love that I think so. Now let's get into these, and we'll do another twofer because we got to the same piece here. Remind me of the name on this one, Chase. This is the. Oh yeah, the boxy jacket. And then this is classic four, four pocket blue song, but really similar in terms of execution. I have uh, one of these in white. I love it. It is yeah. like a. It is. It, here's the thing. It wash. It's it's a denim jacket basically, and it's already been beat up. It's really heavy, but it still has like this nice movement. It's not like yep. rigid or anything. Yep. Clearly, it's, like a very like yeah, washed, like washed yeah, garment yeah, dyed. Yeah. It's really like it's really pretty, and it gets like really good the more you wash and wear it. So I would like strongly encourage like if you were getting into Le Mer for the first time, this is where I started oh, as yeah, far as like dude. the first like pricier piece yeah, I bought from yeah. them. And this this is a very used piece. In fact, I've done multiple closet cleanouts. This almost never leaves. Yep. Love this piece. It goes with everything. This is, they, this is almost always in the collection in different, kind of different dyes or something like that. But for the most part, it's always kind of in this like, you know, yep. nice bull denim. Yep. Yep. And there's there's pants that match it. So let's actually move to those really cool. quick. Again, it's just it clean. I mean, nice little, but little big box plate in the back that you barely see. So you've got the room. This also, when you unbutton this, uh, it kind of creates this interesting mm -hmm. like. Like a true effect. coverall yeah, kind exactly. of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let, me, let me pop this vest out real, real yeah, quick. Yeah. Show them that while I get to the next thing. So this is the corresponding piece uh, to the four pocket blue sewn that I was holding. Um, we matches fabric wise to the jacket and then Timbo here is pulling the twisted leg workwear pant that also matches with it. Let yeah. me. So sorry, we're moving. We're moving around. Knocking sorry, over. Rambo. <laughs> okay, so right here, this is the twisted leg workwear pant. This is killer. You get the little like pocket hit on the side there yep, on yep, both yep. colors. And the way the out seam is sewn in such a way so that it creates this kind of like. You yeah. know, like the pant goes out instead of exactly. straight down. Yeah, yeah it kind of has this like almost like balloon effect, but not, it's not, I wouldn't describe it as baggy necessarily once you have it on. No, It's just kind of no. like curves to the body really It's nicely. fitted in a different yeah. way than we're yeah. used to. So but, you still yeah. get that whole kind of almost like Carhartt feel, but yeah. it's like, I don't know, it's just different. It, it just, it, it really yeah. is like Here, very grab these other ones from and you. smart. Here's the other thing. You get like one of, you get a kit like this, you get a top and the bottom. Automatically, whenever you put it, we're, we're big. We love or, kids. We love yeah. kids. But <laughs> if you put the top and bottom on, you get this really cool kind of like fashiony, cool, like very intentional yeah. look that's super easy. Super like easy you to You put wear. it on with a white t-shirt and you're done. You know what I mean? The nice thing too is both of these are going to look great as singles. So if you're buying just this, that yep. also works. I love the twisted seam that you get that old like 501 look that they're doing on purpose. I think that's so cool. It adds a point of interest without being loud again. Yep. And I just think that like, even if you could, you could buy both kits and, and interchange them. It's just, it's a really easy way to kind of get into like uniform dressing in a way that's super clean. And again, similar, like, like you mentioned, it's going to work with the next season and the season prior. Nothing super fancy here. Just really high grade cotton, really beautifully woven off the shoulder, just a touch, nice boxy feel, big, thick drawstrings. Awesome. May, my main point here, no band yes. at the bottom. We love, we love, we've been cutting band bands off hoodies for a suck. long time. Yeah. Um, so the only, yeah, we either cut them off or this one ones are the barely ones there. It, yeah. So like, this is perfect. They've just gotten rid of it. This makes it lay beautifully, especially if you're like kind of reverse layering, adding like, like longer mm -hmm. layers mm -hmm. underneath mm -hmm. something, which it's I think a little, looks little really awesome. Yep. The other thing is too, like this, I just think like when you put this underneath another jacket, you don't have that weirdness where you have the puffiness and you get the little gut thing yeah going, yeah totally or totally. you get or you get it like hanging out too low mm -hmm, underneath mm -hmm. the jacket and that's not really the right type yeah. of reverse no, I feel necessarily you. Yep. of a hoodie like this so it's just like a great hoodie with like they just fixed all the details and also mm -hmm. like that drawstring is like insanely it's cool. beautiful yeah, cool like texture just, yeah. too adds another texture yeah classic classic easy to wear piece can't really go wrong we got one more pair of pants the twisted belted denim so same thing as before with the twisted you're gonna get that kind of like curve in the leg you're gonna get the seam on the outside and everything they add a belt onto the top it can 
be removed. It's also a really cool feature, especially if you kind of like size up and get it pulled and you get that kind of length on the belt. I yep. think that looks yep. really Yeah, when it kind of pokes out elegant. from underneath yeah. the shirt. Yeah. So again, it's like almost taking like this is normally found in like something a lot more like elegant and flowy, but done in this denim. Number one, this denim hangs really nicely, yep. even though it's heavy. Yeah, it's it's not a rigid denim in any no. way. No, and, and a denim awesome like this spot. is going to age really beautifully. It's gonna have that kind of green cast over yeah, time. Yeah, exactly talking about. And it's and then it just gets kind of that muddier like wear, and it's mm -hmm. really cool. So this is you treat it like a pair of jeans. It's just the Le Maire pair of jeans. It's just you know again classics, but with a point of interest. Yep. So killer. They're always in Easy. the collection. Easy these to are wear. awesome. Yeah, huge support on these. Should we go through shoes? Yeah, let's just bang out the shoes real okay. quick. Sandals. These are super interesting. So it always seems like they do this thing where they take like the outsole on something and sort of wrap it. That seems to be a common thread. Yeah. In the season we just looked at, there was these great pair of shoes that do that. In the yeah, season we're, before, yep. there was also like a crepe sole that did that as well. It's really interesting without, again, just it's, it's not showy. It's just, it's there and you go, oh, that's that's interesting. Mm -hmm. But it, it also looks pretty normal and, you know, yeah. sedate at the same time. Yeah. A, a nicer sandal like this, I don't know if people are going to be weird about this or not, but this is something I wear a ton in the summer. Oh. I think for like, sure, dude. Especially when it's like an, a black and a little bit more elegant leather and everything. Could you do these with socks? You do you, a bowl. You could if you had like a really pretty pair of socks. Yeah. I think that's a cool way of showing them off. Yeah. I would like if you have like a, I don't think of a good example, but you know, they're the longer staple. Wool I know what you're talking about. Yep. I think those yep. are super yep. pretty. Have it has a texture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, or you could just do them without. I think when you do something like this with a flowier pant, um, it, it, it's, it's like, I don't know. It's like, it's elegant looking. This is mm -hmm. very like the row. It, I, I love yeah, it. I like yeah. that. I like yeah, that. It's just clean and simple. And it's, it's again, doing something like this is like, you can dress this up. You could wear a sandal to a nice dinner as long as it's a sandal like this. Yeah. So you can be comfortable and it doesn't have to be ultra formal and weird. It just, you go that way and then you're good. It's okay to, go. to have a little toe showing. You know what I mean? I got my, I got my boys we, out right now. Yeah, we want, we want hogs out this summer. Yeah. So we love it. <laughs> Classic. I don't know. We seem to spend a ton of time here. If you know LaMaria, you know this shoe. It's Comes the, back every yeah, time. It's the, and I Discord wears them all the time. Yeah. Looks fucking sick. They these are, these are, are dope. beautiful. They only get better with age. This is the crepe sole version. Wash jeans, fatigues, shorts, really whatever. Just treat them like a treat them like a loafer. Is yeah. basically yeah. what it is. Yeah. If you think about how you'd wear a loafer, especially like a one you've beat to hell, that just do it like this. Yep. And the more you wear this, like don't be fussy about it. it it's really great. And yeah. honestly, with a pair of shoes, because this little dip on the front happens. Yeah. There's this like it's a different interesting kind of like shape that yep. happens yep. Yep. and yep. like the way that you know skin. And again, if you if you out, if you got just very cool. No socks, whatever. The way that this is cut kind of comes in. So it add another pop of color. If you got a little yeah. bit of sock showing kind of plays with the proportion. Yeah. That's, that's my thing. And it's so. also just, I mean, just when you see it, it's really got this pretty silhouette from the side yeah. or down. Yeah. Really, really great. This classic. Yeah. And not classic a little dainty reason. shoe. No, no, no. You no, know no. what I'm saying? Not no. like a little, little guy. No. And it's a crepe sole, so it's super comfortable and yeah. it'll last for a long time too. Uh, and then you look at the linoleum trainer, kind of a classic. I mean, it, dare, I mean, I hate to say it because I'm sure they wouldn't like it, but basically like a common project. Yeah. Um, dare you say. But like really cool sole, kind of see-through, which is interesting. You get this like kind of like, you know, very Le Mer, slightly square toe yep, yep. on it. Got had a little suede cap as well. A little well. suede cap yep. on the end. Really great like subtle details, like the, the finishing right here. Again, I don't know if you can see it, but the little like stitch there. I don't know, dude. It's just like, they're like super clean. And, and like, again, just it's so just taking like something that everyone probably has in their closet mm -hmm. and they do it at a slightly more elegant yeah. level. And then they add a point of interest with a little square toe. Yeah. And it's like, it's not even squared enough that you even notice it right away. You just kind of notice it when you yeah. notice it. Great. I mean, and like shape wise, it's really similar to, to like a German army trainer. 100%. You know yeah. what I mean? Just, you, just you, missing some of those upper pieces stitched together in that way. But yeah, it's basically a gap. It's basically for a gap or something. Yeah. 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 Soft super, loafer. super popular this season. Um, and going fast. I think we're very low right, already. Yeah, two units. But up. these are really pretty. Again, you get that squared toe. It's it's kind of like the pipe loafer in a way. You get that. You got this elastic on the back here that'll form to your foot. You get this. It's look. It's 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 a little bit of the it's it's of the moment. Even though they've kind of been doing this for a while, it's very low profile. Mm -hmm. It's very like skinny mm -hmm. and low and and again very elegant. And Looks pretty. cool with like a, a truly drapey yeah. wide pants you want sitting on top of it. On yeah, top. exactly. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't think like this is probably not gonna be your one that you throw on with jeans. I mean I don't know. It could be you could I, definitely you do know, it. Yeah, everyone, yeah. everyone could do anything, so who knows? But but I'm just saying like if if I'm giving you style advice, it'd be like get it get a little stacking on a flowier pant with something like this. From the side you get this really elegant pretty look. From the top you also get that classic kind of square toe. This on top. Absolutely. Okay. That and a flowy pant, boom, you're done. And, and and it's like again it's doing something that's all interesting and unique but nothing crazy. You know what I mean? Like, no. yeah. like you look at it and clearly it's its own thing, but 
you're not like, I don't know what to do with that. I want to stress also something that's really important, especially with the leathers that they use. Every single shoe we're looking at here is comfortable from the time that you start yeah, wearing it. Yeah, and it's only going to yeah, get better. Yeah. There's nothing here. There's no break in period with any of this. None of these are blistery. The comfort is kind of like, it feels like that was put at the forefront of yep, the design. Yep, yep. These are wearable shoes. These are not going to be annoying. I know sometimes when I've bought more expensive sneakers from like fashion brands, the look is first, yeah. comfort and utility <laughs> second. That's yeah, not yeah. necessarily the case with these at all, in my opinion. So these are great. Quick hit before we, as we get into accessories, classic card cases, man. Everyone needs them. Everyone wants something pretty. Easy on peasy. How many, how many slots we got on these? We got three two, slots on these. Yeah. You could really, you could stuff it. You could stuff it quite full. You could, look, for everything that like a normal guy is carrying, uses, like, you need some, like six things. Yeah, it's like some cards. And, I say you, know, you could stuff it full, but you, yeah, you need like six things. Three, and you're, this is this is going to be like your date night wallet too. You know what yeah. I mean? If, if you need multiple, you have this one that you put the cards in. You're only putting in the you know you're putting in the, the heavy Amex and a, yeah. an ID so you can drink, <laughs> yeah. and that's it. And then you pull yeah. that out on a date, and the, you know if it's you're with the right per, the right partner, they're going to be like, ooh, ooh Lamar, a little cat yeah. skin, <laughs> a little Lamar, one that's too. Okay. So this is kind of like this is my uh, go yard. I don't need to pull that out and be like, well, everyone knows what that is. Yeah. This yeah. is the one I want because everyone's going to go. Oh, I don't oh. know what that is, but it's pretty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're gonna yeah. look it up later and go, "He's cool." Which is really what I'm <laughs> going for in life. Okay, another classic from Le Mer. The, these pieces, are, I mean, the croissant bag's beautiful. This is in this like really interesting, like very matte color in this kind of like milk chocolate, uh, like chocolate milk colorway. Um, it's got the side entry. Chase, throw it over your body because I think that like the croissant bag is really meant to be seen like on. You can see how it kind of just like the pants kind of curves to the body, can be worn on the back, can be worn on the front. I mean, you can see just how like, it's very, very That's elegant. Cool. The more you wear that, the better it's gonna get. Um, they're just gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, really you dope. can kind of see the little, the little, uh, the little zip pulls are like the keychains they always do. Kind of like that, almost that like buoy look, uh, you know, from the old like boat keychains and stuff. Yeah, oh, they have, they have really similar texture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's just a really, like, it's a way to do a bag like this. If you're thinking about doing a bag like this, where I, I think it's, simple and easy and look i mean look it looks cool on body so yeah, great piece like, if, you the era of if you can remember the era of fixed gears and messenger bags this is just the fashion version of that yeah yeah it's like you it's know? like it's like the hot boy version of a of a chrome bag or chrome whatever bag. <laughs> yeah <laughs> chrome bag exactly yeah um and then here you okay hold so this is up. yeah i'll hold one you hold one yeah so this is what, this great little like kind of like wall. I don't know why we're holding it like this. Uh, this like wallet that I go across the body thing. Take this one up. Let's put this one yeah. on too. This one I see more as, and we're dropping them everywhere. So put that one over. Here's how I see this working really well. Um, if you're not sure how to wear it, maybe you'll know right away. But this is what the way he's doing it with a jacket over the top. So let's say you've got yeah, a t-shirt on. Line. The one thing you don't want to do, in my opinion, is when you've got like a flowier pan. If you're going this direction, you've got a great flowy top. You got a you know the, you know pretty jacket like the the DB work jacket, mm -hmm. the flowier one. If you've got that, you don't want to put a bunch of heavy stuff in your pockets no. because it's going to ruin the lines of the of the silhouette. It's going yep. to make the hang it all down. Yeah, it's yeah, going to make yeah. it pull in weird spots if you have the pants and you're trying to shove it in the pants that doesn't look good you don't want to be putting phones and stuff in there if, no. we're, if we're if we're getting dressed up and we're looking good in la mer let's not ruin it by shoving an iphone 17 and you know, I, mean, I don't like that so this is going to hold all that stuff yeah. simply yeah. this can be your wallet i'm a big i i really only i use a wall i don't have it on me but i use a like a Comme de garçon zip where i put my stuff in there i got my keychain I mean, i've got my keys in there i've got my car my big ass car key in there i've got all the stuff in there that, instead of trying to shove it all into like pockets and then yeah. the car into a wallet they don't have to carry so much stuff it's all in one thing yep. this is a way to look at it the same way did you know what would be nice is this is for travel passport yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what i mean you got it right on your person but again you put this on you put a jacket over the top it just peaks you know what i mean yeah just peaks out and you've, you've got access to everything you need easy to take off and throw elsewhere did we cover everything i think that's everything we're done we love la mer la mer's yeah, great we, yeah. this is this, this is classic pieces again none of this is too fussy it's just it's just really elegant takes on classic uh pieces especially workwear and which we all know you love so shop la mer check us out i don't know how to wrap these things up you normally <laughs> yeah so uh thank you for watching like comment subscribe I kind of want to just stop saying that because it's just like you, know you hear that. everybody say that shit and uh, if you're gonna do it you're gonna do it anyway so that's the last but if you time like us it. and you like the video please do it because it yeah does please help do us it because it actually does help yeah. I think that's why people say it but thank you for listening uh, we truly obviously love this shit shop canoe club is a website you if this video is out we patreon has launched also so um, jump in there hop in there 
we got some other videos check we have out, them pinned on the YouTube. If you like hearing us bicker like this and talk over the top of each other, you're going to want to check out the customer service podcast. We can put a little, little square We're right not there. sure what tech, what technology Graham has access to. We, we, just keep, we just keep saying <laughs> Graham will put it there. So yeah. right here again will be the customer service podcast. Uh, it's just us doing this. So yep. thank you for watching and, and buy some be in touch. Yep. Bye. Bye.